The 2060 is a data logging vibration measurement instrument with a liberal amount of memory for storing historical vibration data. It is an extremely simple and useful tool for the detection of rising trends and thus aiding condition monitoring. On startup, the instrument opens an unspecified location for general vibration measurement. On this screen, data cannot be logged or stored. Vibration can be measured in velocity, acceleration, and displacement. The units can be changed by clicking on the settings on the top right and changing the mode. The bearing spike feature of the 2060 focuses attention on the bearing-related vibration. Thus, a very effective bearing replacement system can be implemented on this basis. Another extremely useful feature of the 2060 is that the vibration readings can be color-coded as per ISO level compliance. Click on the settings option on the top right and then click on ISO levels. Then select the appropriate class and category. This will give the user color-coded vibration limits as per the standard. The 2060 is a data logging vibration measurement instrument with virtually limitless memory for storing data. It is an extremely simple and useful tool for the detection of rising trends. The graph of the past trend of the chosen machine is shown on its graphic display each time a measurement is to be made at a specific point. Before creating the machine to be monitored, select the settings for the same. Choose Units of Vibration and ISO Limits from the Settings menu. Then click on File from the home page and then click on New. After that follow the instructions to define a name for the machine and confirm. The machine will be created with the desired name. The user can click on the machine name to select it, and then press the I button on the bottom right to see the file information. It will contain the machine name, settings including vibration units and ISO limits, the number of readings stored for this machine, and the date and time of creation. After selecting the file, there are two options for the user. The top right is the machine log and the top left is the machine vibration trend. On pressing the log button, the user will enter the log file page. This will have the saved vibration data of the machine in a tabular format. On pressing the Vibration Trend button, the user will enter the Vibration Monitoring page. This page will show the past trend of the machine selected. Demo is shown here to save vibration data point to a machine. On starting the unit, it will open on an unspecified location. To add data to a specific machine, Go to the File option and then select the machine that you want to monitor. At this point, you can click on the I button to see the file details and also the Log button to see the previous data in a tabular format. Click on the Trend button to see the previous trend for this machine and press the Plus button to add a vibration data point for this machine. At any point if you want to get back to an unspecified location, then press on any blank space in the file menu and press the back arrow on the top right to get back to the home page.
To get a hard copy of the saved vibration data, connect the thermal printer, an optional accessory of the 2060. Select the machine for which you need the data and go to the log menu. Here, you will see the saved data for the selected machine in a tabular format. Press the print button available on the top of the screen. The data can be transmitted to a PC through RS-232 USB bridge included in the standard accessories using Excel or any terminal software on your PC. Open the report format for the 2060, which is an Excel template supplied with the instrument. Go to the Data Streamer option and click on Connect a Device. Select the device recognized at COM port 3. Click on Start Data option as shown in the video. Now the program is ready for the command to come from the instrument to stream the data. Select the machine from the file menu and press the log option. Here press the CSV button to transmit the graph. After transmitting the data, Press on Stop Data and then press Reset Data to clear the report. Press on Start Data before transmitting again from the instrument. To transmit the tabular data, go to the file then select the machine and go to the Log option. Then press the Print button to get the table on the PC.